All right, collective, here we go. This is it. This is the Lion's Gate All Signs reading. Probably one of the most important readings I'm going to do or any reader is going to do all year for anybody that's doing Lion's Gate readings. It's extremely powerful, high vibrational energy. I'm right on top of a Leo new moon. <laughs> I haven't done a pre-shuffle, but I do have the Five of Cups at the bottom of my deck when I picked it up, which is the Sad Horse. Lost. Somebody's feeling. Somebody's feeling this connection. There's no doubt about it. So this here is the Lion's Gate All Signs reading. I don't care if you're a person, a chipmunk, or a raccoon. You're here for a reason. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, well, you found it for a reason. And if you just found it, there's a playlist. There's tons of playlists. Timeless playlists. Mailbags, Schrodinger's cat, all kinds of things. Check them out. Your monthly readings, all that. Go play, view, have fun. Learn the characters around here on the cards. <laughs> so let's find out how Lion's Gate's affecting your soulmate connection. And that's what I'm asking the universe right now. What's going on? I'm asking the universe straight up what the fuck's going on. Because the energy's crazy. It's been crazy all week. We did a Schrodinger's cat reading the other day. Yeah, I'm shuffling. Relax. We did a Schrodinger's cat reading the other day, and a pizza showed up just on time at the right moment. Exactly. I mean, it's amazing. It took that pizza 16 minutes to get here. It usually takes it 45. I mean, it was the, there was some fate there with that reading, because I ordered it online and then I sat down and did the reading. <laughs> I I didn't think that pizza would arrive. So what's going on? What's, what's going on here in Lionsgate with the soulmate in action? Let me focus. Give me one second. This is powerful energy. Bottom of the deck, before the cut, is the Knight of Cups. That's what's going on. We started with the sad horse, five of cups, somebody feeling this connection, feeling the loss, a missed opportunity. And I got a Knight of Cups here. This, this Lion's Gate energy going to make people see some realities. People, you thought, <laughs> one person put it to me, a miracle. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to, miracles going to happen here. There's your person before Lion's Gate and your person after Lion's Gate. And I'm pulling this reading right on Lion's Gate. Just after the new moon in Leo. I'm pulling it right now. Let's see where we go. After the cut. Is justice. Justice in your reading in the upright position, which this is, goes in your favor. Also, it's exactly what I just told you. It's it's what's Lionsgate making this person do is look in the mirror. And see the error of their ways, see that they are they're the reason this disconnection ain't happening. They're the they're the reason up for, for the loss here. The, the missed opportunity. Because they've been sitting on their hands, haven't they? Doing nothing. You're waiting to hear from them. You're waiting all kinds of things. They're spying. There's so much spying in the energy right now. It's a big band of energy through it all. So much spying. The spying's going to pick up from today forward. It's already been picking up all week. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. What's going on with this soulmate connection here on Lionsgate? What's going on for my people? Give it to me, universe. Let's get our overall energy and let's pull ourselves a reading. Overall energy is the two of swords. It's been blocked communication here. There's no doubt about it. Somebody's at a lion's gate's going to cause whatever confusion they've had is going to get more. You got a low vibrational person feeling high vibrational energy. It's either going to kick them out or raise them up. One or the other. It, it, it is. It's the truth. One or the other. And I always pull one clarifier from my overall energy, so this whole reading is clarifying this two of swords. And my overall and my energy underneath it is the uh, three of pentacles. They know they need to come in and make things right. Three of pentacles is working together. There is the potential here for this to happen. It's in the energy. There is. Even for some of you that think it's a miracle, there is the potential for this to happen in the energy. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. Right here's the hidden energy. And right here's the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything. Throw some universe cards over the top. And you bet you're sweet. And I do mean sweet. We've seen some bikinis out on my Twitter feed. Your sweet human, raccoon, or chipmunk asses 
there's going to be an extended, and there'll be a link in the description. All right. And I suggest, of all readings, I can't wait to pull that extended. It's going to be some voodoo on crack. What's the just whole readings clarifying the two of swords and everything I've already told you up to this point? Sad horse, feeling the loss, justice, karma balancing, somebody realizing it's time to step it up or step it out. And the energy is going to kick them out or, or raise their vibration, one or the other. That's how it works. What's the energy around the connection right now? Let's pull it together. Yeah, There you are. That's your energy attached to this card here. It's all you. It's my eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. It's the king of pentacles. It is the energy around this connection, especially with the three of pentacles here and justice earlier, and that five of cups is somebody who knows that you know, they're at a crossroads right now. Should I go left or should I go right? Because they know you're irreplaceable. That's all I'm going to say on that card. You are irreplaceable to this person. You're the rainbow antlered eight point buck. There's, there's hunters watching this right now salivating. They're like, oh my God, there's a rainbow buck out there. It ain't even deer season. I'm going to get my gun, my bow, anything, spear. I'm going to go out in the woods. It's, I'm, a, I'm sending about a thousand rednecks out in the woods right now. <laughs> They're all going to go out and look for this thing. Your person found it, and they fucked it up, and they know it. What's the energy? And again, Lionsgate, very powerful shit happening right now. And the energy won't dissipate for a while. It's going to be peaking right through that full moon on the 22nd of August. How do they feel in their emotions about this eight-point rainbow buck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, folks, I read the energy first, and then I read the cards. Uh, if, I get, if I ever get egg on my face, I won't edit it out. I'll let you see it. I'm human, but I ain't human today. <laughs> the energy's been crazy all morning. It has. Even the weather here in Los Angeles, where I live, is crazy today. We got something we usually call June gloom this morning. We never get June gloom in August called June gloom. It's marine layer that comes off the water when the weather's just right. Usually it's the end of May through about the first half of July. We got it today on August 8th. Didn't have it yesterday. We got it today on August 8th. Yeah, it's fucking rare energy. Rare shit going on. Lover's card. How do they feel about this eight point buck? They're feeling this connection. Lionsgate's going to, and we're asking about Lionsgate in this reading, so I'm going to mention it. Lionsgate and that new moon in Leo, which is a passionate new moon, is going to make them feel their feels, feel this connection. Yeah, they felt their feels on the new moon in Cancer back on the 10th of July, but that was bullshit compared to this. That was a bobcat. This is a fucking lion. There's a big difference between a bobcat and a fucking lion. Let me tell you that. Bobcat's 50 pounds on a good day. <laughs> 25 to 50, something like that. Maybe even less than 50. I might be giving it some credit. Lions, 500 pounds. Mm. Right here. How do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. It's bookending this rainbow buff. The Eight of Pentacles. This person, no matter how... Uh, this connection has forced this person to do work on themselves. You're an inspiration to this person. That's what the Eight of Pentacles falling here tells me. That's the energy around it. You're some sort of inspiration to this person. They have, and, and uh, I tell you what, you know, my father's not alive anymore, but he was an avid hunter. If I told him about an eight-point buck with rainbow antlers, that'd be a goddamn inspiration for him. So, you know, again, the universe teaches us how to do readings, teaches us how, how we, you know, we teach the universe how we read cards. It teaches, you know, and it follows suit. It's giving me cards that make sense to me. It'll give you cards that make sense to you if you're a reader. Right here, uh, you're an inspiration to this person. That's how they feel about you. And they're feeling this connection. It's very powerful today. I take nothing away from the energy that's out there right now. I'm going to have a very weird day, and I already know it. Right here is the hidden... It's going to take me three beers to wash this reading away. Right here, the energy around... Uh, the hidden energy is what the universe wants you to know. It's red with this rainbow buck, coincidentally. Two of Wands. They're fixing to come towards you. Uh, they've like again. You're an inspiration to them on some level. On some level, I know you think I'm not an inspiration to my person. They treat me like shit. No, 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 no. 
they've been spying, they've been watching, and, and we see the Nine of Pentacles all the time. They know you got your shit together. They know you're the shit. It, the problem is they also know deep down that they're not the shit. Okay? So you're an inspiration to them on varying levels for all of you. Maybe you're a writer and you inspire them to start writing. Maybe you're a very open, emotional person and you inspire them to be more open. It could be anything. But the bottom line is they've let go of something. The universe is clear. They've let go of something and they're fixing to come towards, it's red with this card, towards this rainbow buck. And that's you. That rainbow is from the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It, it's happy. It's got the big pentacle right in the middle of it. They know where their happiness is. They're just not sure because this whole reading's clarifying the Two of Swords. They're just not sure what, uh, whether they should go right or left. This person is, is tough. They don't make decisions. They're not a decision maker. They're an overthinker and, an over, and a rigid planner. Even if they don't come across that way, that's what they are. They're a person that requires some kind of structure. In, in some ways and that's no way to live life you don't get anything with structure you get trapped you put yourself in a prison you got to be a, a, a loose planner uh, you know and not an overthinker think but not overthink what's the final outcome here though it's red with this now the lovers here in their feelings uh, here on Lionsgate and Lionsgate reading I, I've kind of glazed over this because I was blown away by the buck right here but this is powerful this is, you know, they're feeling this connection, and I, I don't find I don't have words that are stronger than that. Okay, this is this is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> they're it's making them turn around. Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed means uh, it's what I told you. It's very powerful. Eight of Cups reversed means somebody who walked away is coming back. They don't know how. And, and it's really they're really confused. They're like, I don't know what to, they don't know how you're going to react. It's very clear here, but it's very clear in the final outcome that somebody is turning around and coming back to you. Somebody is turning themselves around and coming back. And whether this card, this card is reversed energy, even if this card fell this way, I could just say in the upright position, the energy is kind of the same around it. Their urge is to, is to run away. We know that about your person, right? We know their urge is to run away. That's what they've been doing. Your person's a fucking runner, right? But they can't. If this is red with the lovers. They can't run away from this connection is what it would say. But that's not what the universe wanted to say. It said, it said the same thing in the reverse position. Their urge is to run away. I won't lie to you. It's there in the energy. I feel it. But what the universe did by making this reversed, which is rare in my deck that a reverse card comes out. So when, it, when I pay attention when it does. What the universe is saying here is no way in hell. It, it, the universe is almost making the decision for your person that it's time to come in. If somebody's helped you, if somebody's inspired you, you thank them. It's what you do. You don't, you, especially if you know, it's, it's one thing if there's some author that you don't know and there's some celebrity that you don't know or something like that's fine. But if somebody's helped you and somebody's inspired you, you get nothing but good karma by thanking them. And, and this is what the universe is saying. It's saying, nope, it's like their mommy and daddy turning them around, turning their childish ash around, ass, ash, ass around and saying you go thank them right now you go thank the collective right now right here I, I, they're turn, either way regardless of what they do I don't think they're going to come in and thank you I'm just giving it as an analogy as an energetic analogy but the bottom line is somebody's turning around and coming back because they're feeling this connection and that's what Lionsgate's fixing to do I told you in the beginning it's either going to they're a low vibration it's a high vibration it's either going to kick them out or raise them up one or the other so for some of you, your person will bolt. Yeah, they will. But they're not going to escape. Even if they do, they can't escape it. So they're just going to come back around on the next cycle and it's going to start all over again. But for the majority of you, the card wouldn't have come out this way if somebody wasn't turning around and, real, and coming to get what they want, coming to get their happiness. We see it right here with the Two of Wands. With the, with the Two of Wands and the message from the universe setting their intention to come towards you, seeing a whole new life with you, letting go of something, you've inspired them, you're an eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. It, right here, this, this couldn't have been a card of them walking away. And even if they do, the lover says they can't. So what's, uh, what, let's clarify. Let's go a layer deeper in the energy. Why is this uh, King of Pentacles here? Let's go. Tell me about this King of Pentacles universe. Tell me about it. Mm-hmm, they're coming. Uh, Knight of Swords. 
Uh, the, again, he's flying the other way. Their inclination is to run away, but no. The Knight of Swords is somebody coming in, and they've got a specific message. They definitely do not want this buck to get away. He's even got a weapon. I said earlier, I said I'm sending rednecks out to the woods, right? I said they're going to bring their gun, their bow, and even spears. Well, he got a spear right there. Look at that. Look at what came out. A spear. Coming to spear you. Not, not literally. You'll be fine. But it's it, it rushing in with a message. <laughs> and why is that here? Why? Because of the four of wands. They, see, they want a happy new beginning with you. Uh, again, it's been coming up like this at, in the lead up to Lionsgate and here. It, it is very clear in the energy that somebody definitely does not want you to get away. And we know from the Five of Cups at the very beginning of this reading, they're feeling the loss. And what's, what's good about that is they're feeling the loss. But Lionsgate's making them feel the, the connection, which is making them want to come towards you. It's right here. The energy of the connection is ripe for a passionate new beginning, a happy new beginning, a long-term thing, and uh, communication. Knight of Swords with a very specific message. Again, the Knight of Swords has something to say. And they come in and they say it. They grow a pair and they do it. Um, all because you're irreplaceable. Maybe they've been dating other people. Maybe they're with someone else who sucks. The universe don't want to talk about a third party here. It wants to talk to you. And that's sort of how I asked it. I asked it for that. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of pulling on, yeah, some of you, your person's married. And no, they don't love that person anymore. And no, the sex is bad. And everything is bad. And they're not emotionally fulfilled. There. It's in the energy. It's there. But this isn't what the universe wants to talk about here. It wants to talk about your connection and how Lionsgate is affecting it. And so far, it's affecting it by them turning their ass around, coming in with a message and ha in a happy new beginning because they're feeling the connection. And also, you're an inspiration to this person. It really is true. If you don't think that's true, I know they're not showing you. They probably, because they're emotionally immature. They don't know that if somebody's helped you or inspired you, 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 you thank them. They have changed in some ways. It's very clear the energy has altered from what it was before. And Lionsgate's just gonna alter it more. Why is the lovers here? Tell me about this lovers card, yep. Fixing, yep, almost, oh, yep, 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 the sun, mm-hmm. It's communication, it's, it, it, they're compelled to do it by the universe. This, this card used to be called the choices. Everyone reads it as the person is making a choice. It's major arcana, the person ain't making a choice. The universe is turning their ass around and saying, you go thank the collective right now, metaphorically speaking. Right here, we got the sun. We got no, there's nothing but happiness in this connection. What they're feeling is the happiness of this connection. If they do have a third party, it's going to make them see the unhappiness of that even more. Life is light and shade. And that third party is shade for your person. And the sun is the brightest light we can get. Ain't nothing brighter than the sun. <laughs> okay, not close to us anyway. Lots of stuff in space that is. But not right here. Not 90 million miles away, where we could still see it as a big old thing in the sky, right here. The sun. That's why the lovers is here. It's making them feel their feels on, on crack. It's doing what the new moon in Cancer on July 10th did on crack. Right here. Look at the energy around this connection. This is unreal. Why is the sun here? Mm. <laughs> Judgment. Well, this is a card of coming back around. It's a card of resurrection. It's a card of resurrection. What did I just say? Right? What? This is resurrection. Somebody walks away from you and turns around and comes back. It's being resurrected. It's the definition of the damn word right here. Your past is coming back. It's, it's drawing them back in. The universe is making the choice. It's nothing but happiness here. It's turning their ass right around. The universe is playing mommy and daddy here. In their feelings, I'm going to point this out. Hopefully, if you're a tarot reader, you already noticed it. One major arcana in their feelings. Two major arcana in their feelings. Three major arcana in their feelings. Let's all do the major arcana dance and clap. There you go, kids. Right here. Three major arcana in their feelings. I said when I pulled this card, before I even pulled these, I said the universe is mommy and daddy. And it's turning their ass around. And that's what it's doing. And that's why this Eight of Cups came out reversed in my deck 
where I work very hard to put everything in upright. I swear there's a little elf that comes in at night. And the bottom of the deck, by the way, for all this, part of the reason I chuckled when, before the sun came out is I look at the bottom of the deck to help me read this shit to make sure I'm giving you accurate energy reads. The cards are verification of what I'm reading in the energy, not the other way around. And the Three of Wands was at the bottom. It's close. And I'm drawn to this Mork for Mork thing like I have been for a long time here uh, since the second half of July. It's right on. The, it, it, it's coming. It's coming. They're right on the, the, the precipice of coming to get this Four of Wands. Four of Wands comes after this. Why is that? I love the symmetry in these readings when the energy is this powerful. Why is the Eight of uh, Pentacles here? What's all this about? What's all this Eight of Pentacles about, universe? Let's, do, let's give these people some information, all right? Don't give me no vague cards. Don't make me work for it. Well, the Three of Wands is at the bottom again after three or four shuffles around. That tells you something. There's your hint. There's your clue. It's closer than we think. But why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What's all this? <laughs> you showed them the error of their ways. You did. Here he is, the Emperor... The Burger King. Mm -hmm. This person has realized how they feel about you is the Eight of Pentacles. They've done some work on themselves. This person knows that their silence is what got them into this. I got the moon in front of the sun here. I got silence. It's also is a symbol of a new moon. It's the only way to draw an invisible thing. is to put light behind it. It's a symbol of a new moon here, which is today, the day I'm drawing this reading, the Leo new moon. It's a very passionate new moon. You got a stubborn person on your hands who knows that that's what fucked all this up. They're, they're probably coming back in with the tail between the legs a little bit once Lionsgate gets done with them. It's just getting started right now. It's peaking. But somebody realizing here, we call this the Burger King around here for you new people. It's the emperors, all the kings rolled in one. It's the Burger King. They had a campaign back in the day, get the Whopper your way, right? Somebody who's got to have it their way. People go to the emperor. The emperor doesn't go to anyone. All right? You're over there in England. You got your queen. You live up in uh, Liverpool or Blackpool or some other pool. You ain't gonna, no chance in hell, queen's knocking on your apartment door. You got to go down and meet the queen. You'd be lucky you get Brian May knocking at your door up there. He's probably just wondering why he's in Blackpool. What the hell am I doing in Blackpool? I know they got the tower, but what the hell am I doing here? Right here. Why is the emperor here? Mm-hmm. The emperor is about... The emperor drives the chariot. This is the chariot. Yeah, I'm reading this energy right, folks. And now look. Jesus Christ, the symbolism here is unreal. I got the moon in front of the sun. This silence wasn't working. They can't have it their way. Just like at Burger King, you're never going to get that Whopper the way you order it. It's always going to have shit on it you don't want, that you didn't say you wanted. And right here, the chariot. It's got the sun in front of the moon this time. It's talking. I told you they, they've realized that they can't be the Burger King. The chariot is coming out. It's verifying my energy read. The chariot got the sun in front of the moon. Chatty Cathy in front of Silent Bob. And people think these aren't real things I'm talking about. People are so surprised somebody put up a Chatty Cathy tweet. Um, Chatty Cathy's a talking doll from back in the day. 60s, early 70s. I don't know, something like that. It's a creepy little thing doesn't shut up but and silent bob is a character from a movie called clerks all right i'm not making this shit up these are real things what the hell you people been doing you got to start watching you got to get up with pop culture i'm old pop culture i know I, i'm not up with pop culture i couldn't tell you who anybody is i couldn't tell you who anybody is i was standing in line one time at a grocery store with snoop dogg somebody named snoop dogg i didn't know who the fuck that was <laughs> just some guy <laughs> I was talking to about the gum. We were talking about gum. I don't know what the hell that was. I had no idea he was somebody like that. I have no idea. He did have an entourage. I guess I should have put two and two together. I don't know shit. Anyway, I do know your person's coming in. I do know it. Uh, the, or they, at least how they feel about you is they want to. Oof, but with the Eight of Cups reversed and Mommy and Daddy here, hmm. Why, what else the universe won't tell us? Why is two of wands here? Why is two of wands here? What do we got? What's going on? 
What's going on? Mm -hmm. Setting their intention to come toward what? With what we've been talking about here, the rainbow buck. And I said the rainbows were like the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Here's the Ten of Pentacles right here. Set their intention to come get what, universe? You. That's why and this is read with the Knight of Swords. This is a specific message the person has. They see the long term with you. They see this pentacle. See this rainbow buck. You're irreplaceable to this person. Whether I don't care if they call you and they call you a fuckwad, shit monging motherfucker. I don't care if they call you that. I don't care if that's what they text you. It's a lie. It's right here in the energy. You wouldn't be feeling this if it wasn't real. Some of you I still get messages uh, that you, you think it's all in your head or you're imagining this. You're not imagining this. These videos from me and other people get thousands, tens of thousands of views. It's not a bunch of people that all lost their damn mind and went psycho. This is a common thing. I study connections. I'm here to study this one because it's very powerful. No doubt you think you're crazy. Oh, no fucking doubt whatsoever. This is the crazy. I wouldn't be here if this was just a regular soulmate cycle. I wouldn't be here. I, I, I'd be at the beach drinking a beer. But uh, the, the reality is it isn't. It, it's not surprising to me that people feel crazy because of this. It's not surprising. Yeah, it's crazy. You got, you got the Burger King here. You're dealing with an emperor. But they're, the universe is very clear here. They're coming to get their Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Six of Cups. Because again, the universe is saying they're feeling this soulmate connection. There's, it's also saying there's a lot of past life ties here. There's karma that needs to be balanced. That's what justice was after the cut. Balancing of karma. There's a lot of past life karma here. They can't escape this. You're irreplaceable. You have been an inspiration to them, or at the very least, the connection itself has and what it makes them feel. What does it make them feel? Happy. For fuck's sake. You're a rainbow buck. Eight point. Nobody crazy here. It's it, 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 Your person is. You know, they got a lot of past pain they hadn't dealt with. and when you, it, These connections always show up. Any soulmate cycle, they show up at bad timing. It's always bad timing for at least one of the people. You I almost I, I picture a puppy that just wants to play, right? Like the collective is a little puppy and it wants to play and it wants to jump. And it caught, the, it caught a person on the wrong day. And that person didn't want to play. So they just slammed the door and went away on the puppy. And the puppy goes, you know, like that. I mean, that's kind of what happened here. That's, that's what happens all the time in these connections. It's just here it was on crack. It was just, you know, but it's taking huge amounts of energy to turn this person around. I say that right here. The lovers, the sun, and judgment. That's huge Chernobyl level amounts of energy just to turn this person around and it's minor arcana so for some of you they can still use their free will against them even though mommy and daddy here are pretty adamant about it let's do it why is this eight of cups reversed here give me the final final on this and i'll pull a crossing card on it if i have to because i think the universe is going to make me work for it today Well, this is the second time the Ace of Swords has been at the bottom of the deck. It was the bottom of the deck for our clarifiers here, and it's the bottom of the deck here. This is an epiphany. This is a truth. This is Archangel Michael's sword of truth rammed up your person's ass right up through their head. Lion's Gate is Archangel Michael's sword of truth that's been stuck in a fire for about two hours. And it's glowing hot. All right. It's also a card of communication. And I got the, the most powerful card in the Major Arcana. Mommy and Daddy strike again. I got the world. Anything the world falls on, in my 31 years of tarot reading, 99.99999% of the time it comes true. So if you're pulling tarot cards and you get a world on top of a card and you don't like what you see, I'm sorry. But the world just fell. And look at the color match. Dark to light. Dark to to light. They are in the same direction, even though this is reversed. Okay, Color is energy. In other words, what I'm saying is, if this had fallen like this, it's the opposite. So the world would be a cycle isn't ending. A cycle is ending. A new cycle is beginning. What cycle is ending? The cycle that's ending here at the top, the end cycle, 
is one of darkness. It's one of your person walking away. We go to a cycle of light. A cycle of light. Heading toward the light. On the light seer deck, she's walking toward the sun. As coincidence would have it. This is power. This is unfucking real. And, and just to hammer it home, I just want to say this. These cards are red with this. Okay? Major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. Death. Major Arcana clarifying, Major Arcana, Major Arcana clarifying, Major Arcana, on top of an Eight of Cups reversed. Your person has almost no choice but to turn around and come back. You are driving them batshit crazy. They cannot get you out of their head. And Lionsgate is just going to ram a red hot, glowing ember Archangel Michael, Sword of Truth, clean through them. Through them, pull it out, stick it back in. Unreal. Ah. Uh, Death card is, is the same thing. It's a cycle ending and another cycle beginning. It, it's just, we have a cycle ending here. And the cycle that's coming in is one of them who used to run away, now coming back. And that's why the spying is increasing. That's why it's strong in the energy. I can't tell you enough right here in this section of cards how powerful it is. Look at all the major arcanas we got on the table. And look where they're crammed. Look at the only sections that have no major arcana here. Well, uh, yep, no major arcana here and no major arcana here. But we got three major arcana here in how they feel, two major arcana here in how they feel about you, and two major arcana here in the final outcome. And these are all in the right places. The clarifying cards are the overlaying energy. It's another layer deeper. So they can, on the surface, it's minor arcana. You inspired them on the surface, yeah. But deep down, they're being pushed to come towards you, to change their ways, to come in. On the surface, it's minor arcana. It's, okay, I'm going to turn around. I, I feel the happiness here. I feel this connection, blah, 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 blah. On the inner layers, it's, yeah, you bet your ass you are. You know, it really it is a powerful card. Death and uh, the world together is almost in my experience, a guarantee of a new cycle beginning. You're either going to get closure here or you're going to get together, one or the other. There is a possibility that they'll just stay the emperor, which is low vibration energy, go controlling and got to have it their way. You know, there is a possibility and they'll get kicked out. They'll just kick your cycle for this will end. Uh, it is a possibility. And then they might come back around again. There's enough major arcana here that that might happen. But either way, I don't see it. What I see is for the majority of you, and don't ask me a percentage, I can't say, I w I'll guess 80 to 90% of you, this person doesn't have a choice. They're turning around. They're just right now, this overall energy here, the Two of Swords, they're just trying to figure out, you know, they're, they're, they're confused. Lion's Gate's going to rattle their brain. It's going to fry it. It really is. Anything else the universe wants the collective to know about this before I go pull some voodoo and see what's going on here? Because I'll tell you what, there's too much, inter you, there's too much universe intervention here with Major Arcana. There's too many Major Arcanas in all the right places. It's too perfect. And I want to know why the universe is trying so hard here. I want to know what's going on. Because the universe is trying real hard. It really is. It's very clear in the energy about where the Major Arcanas fell. Anything else you want the collective to know about this before I go pull some voodoo? Mm -hmm. Well, your person has been doing a lot of thinking. Four of swords, nine of swords, your person has been doing <laughs> a lot of overthinking. Ten of swords. It's red, pacing the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey, nine of swords. I'm up all night thinking about this. Right here, doing some healing, calming down a little bit, four of swords, get some rest, calming the energy. And right here, the ten of swords is the end of a painful cycle. How do I know it's the end of a painful cycle? Well, <laughs> because we're going backwards. It's the eight of swords. Now we're back to the eight of swords. This is your person in a snapshot. It's the three of swords. Now we got the Three of Swords. I'm, I swear to God, these are the cards that are coming out. Look at what we got here. Now I'll just read them in a row. I won't even read them as anything. I want you to see this reading for what it is. It's going backwards. Okay, it goes 
we it's like two steps forward one step back and then two then three steps forward kind of thing some healing is happening okay little light bulb going off in the third eye this is the most amazing card pull i've seen since i've been out here on youtube this is incredible because i know what the next card is and which will be the crossing card but i got to explain this healing four of swords nine of swords pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey this is what this is what lion's gates do into your person okay it's making them think starts out as just regular thinking then it's pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey then it's like uh okay i need to stop this the ten of swords I need, this is done i need to put an end to it okay fine then they get all up in their head eight of swords crazy 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 thoughts and they'll want, find themselves in the three of swords after that feeling the loss of this connection this is where we started with the five of cups the sad horse loss this is loss this is sadness and loss around this three of swords that's the energy and what does all that do what is Lionsgate going to do to your person how does this benefit you this is why crossing cards is the tower major arcana it's the universe saying see you ain't going nowhere motherfucker this is a powerful connection and you need to come in and deal with it or this cycle is just going to repeat over and over and over again and if you think your person isn't feeling this way about you, I have not seen a spread of swords come out of my deck like this in a long fucking time. This is almost the perfect storm right here, and it leads to the Three of Swords perfectly. It starts small, gets a little bigger. They, wanna, they try to walk away and end the whole thing with the Ten of Swords, and then they get in their head, and then they feel the pain, and then the universe steps in, and it all comes crashing down around them. And that's where they come in. And that is where they come in. Because at the bottom of the deck, I got two cards. If I could, they're sticking together. The Fool and the Three of Cups. The Tower leads to the Fool and the Three of Cups. Union and them taking a leap of faith. It is what it is. They've got to go through this. These are the days we must live through or some book quote i forget what exactly how it goes but these are the days you must go through or the days you must live it's the experience they must have or they're never going to change and they're having that experience we're going to pull an extended reading i'm going to pull on all of it all i'm just uh, we're just going to ask why we're just going to find out what the fuck's going on here i'm going to pull some major voodoo on all of the major arcanas and find out why they're here we're going to find out exactly what actions they're going to take, and I'm sure as fuck going to pull on all those swords that just came out in the universe because I want to know what's going on with that. And I'm so excited to do it. I'm cleaning up the damn reading right in front of you here, where I, which I normally wouldn't do, but I'm doing it. I'm absolutely very excited to pull this. This is powerful energy. I'm very excited by the universe pull with all those swords and to see it lead to the tower and that lead to a fool and a three of cups. is mind-blowing. All right, so here we go. Uh, if you want the extended, the link is in the description. I know I sure as fuck do. I'm going to get my popcorn and a Heineken and watch myself later. And I'll tell you what, uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. appreciate all the subscribers and everybody who shares and all that. And I'll tell you what, this is powerful shit. And for those of you that think you imagined all this, no, I don't, I don't blame you. Like I said, this is the most crazy soulmate cycle I have ever seen. In all the time I've been alive and tracking soulmate cycles, okay? It's about the fourth one for me, something around those lines. I'm, I'm not that old. So, but anyway, <clears throat> this is uh, the craziest one I've seen. And I've talked to people much older than me, and they haven't seen one who have tracked cycles and things like that. They haven't seen anything like this in decades upon decades. So, it's... It's conceivable that you would think it was all in your head and your imagination, especially by the way this person treats you. I can understand that. So, it is what it is. It's not in your head. It's very real. I can tell you that. All right. I'm going to go pull the extended. If you want it, link's in the description. I sure as fuck want it. I can't wait to pull it. Good luck.